2018-16. It's the Stovall property. It's located at 6002 North Oak Street Extent Extension. This is CG conditional to CG conditional. Uh, it has well and others, and it is 5.84 acres. Ms. Stevenson. Thank you, sir. This parcel is currently zoned CG with two conditions. The applicant is requesting for one of those two conditions to be removed. The condition for landscape buffering, there is no objection to that, and they are not seeking to have that condition removed. The condition of no personal care homes, family, group, or congregate is what is being requested for removal. The proposed use of the subject property is to construct and operate an assisted living facility, which is permissible use within CG zoning, subject to supplemental standards as found in the ULDC and as found in your packets. TRC has recommended its approval, and the Planning Commission at their August meeting also unanimously voted to recommend approval of removing the no personal care homes condition. Staff has found this request consistent with the comprehensive plan and recommends approval of removing the no personal care homes condition. Any questions for Ms. Stevenson? Ms. Stevens, I've got one. If I, looking at the a conceptual drawing on that, it looks like they will be demolishing that existing structure that is there and constructing a new facility? That is correct. Okay. Are there any other questions? Okay, hearing none, we'll open up the public hearing portion of the meeting. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in opposition to this request? Anyone that would like to speak in opposition? Hearing none, is there anyone that would like to speak in favor of this request? Please come forward and state your name and address for the record, please. Good evening, board. My name is Matthew Inman with EMC Engineering, 515 St. Augustine Road. Um, staff did a great job of um, laying out the, the, the details of the case. Um, it was mentioned earlier in the, the staff. Is it okay to talk? Sure. Oh, what was sure. Okay. Um, it, it, was, it was mentioned in, the, uh, in the, the Planning Commission meeting earlier today. I'm sorry, the, the Planning Board of Appeals uh, meeting earlier today that when this was um, previously uh, rezoned, there was a, um, a perspective rezoning and there was not a clear use of a clear uh, dedication of what the use was going to be for. And there was discussion it was going to be for a, a boy's home or some, um, some, some detention type um, facility. Um, it's definitely not for a, an assisted living facility. Um, Rimrock is the, will be the developer of this property. They've done a number of these properties all around. And their intent is to build these facilities close to where people live. Um, if you're going to have an assisted living facility, you're going to have to put a loved one in an assisted living facility. They want to build it close to where you live, um, close by where people live and work, um, on the way home. If you ever did put somebody in one of those facilities, they'd like for it to be as convenient as possible. Um, and they, they would like to, to, to put it next to the nice residential and, uh, and work uh, next door in the North Wind uh, complex. They, they build a nice facility. I mean, we'll, we'll make it fit in the, the character of the area, um, similar to what you see in the North Wind's facility um, adjacent to it and kind of around the area. And other than that, that's, that's really all we had to say about it. And uh, the staff did a great job of kind of answering anything else. I'll, go, I'll answer any other questions that may come up. Okay. Any questions for Mr. Denman? No, Matt. You may just want to share the results of the ZBOA meeting today, though. Yeah, there, there was a, a, a variance request um, in our ordinance. We have a 100-foot um, side and rear setbacks. We can meet the rear setback, but the, pro the, the property, as you showed earlier, is very narrow compared to – it's very long but, but fairly narrow. And if you take 100 foot off each side for setbacks, there's really just not much left in the middle of the property. It's only a couple acres left in the middle. And to build the type of facility they, they, they need, um, they, they can't build without 100 foot setbacks. So we request a 50 foot setback um, variance to their side, which is still um, quite a bit more. Langdale Place has maybe a 20 foot buffer in the back of it, and it's right next to single family residential. And other um, assisted living facilities have much less um, uh, setback requirements. 25 feet is kind of a, a normal for this type of facility in other areas. but. Um, for some reason, when we did the new ordinance, we had a 100-foot setback, but that was um, reduced to 50-foot um, by the Zoning Board of Appeals this afternoon. Okay. Any other questions? Any comments? Thank you, Mr. Edmund. Thank you. 
Is there anyone else that would like to speak in favor of this request? If you're hearing none, we'll close the public participation portion of the meeting and turn it back over to the commissioners for your consideration. Mr. Chairman, I had a quick question. Um, okay. Perhaps for staff, uh, in regards to detention centers or the boy homes or what have you, uh, it, is this the correct language in a sense, or what would be the proper language to should we put any language in there that would prevent detention centers or anything that might be of concern in that area? Well, I think at this point, just removing the restriction that was put on it earlier is what the actual request is. I really wouldn't see a need in in modifying that actual request uh, when we actually have a plan here that is going to be an assisted living facility. Okay. My okay. I just wanted to be clear on it because I, I, I know the concern <clears throat> earlier was about a boy's home or something like that or detention center. Yeah. That's out. Any other questions? Okay. Commissioners, I'll entertain a motion. Mr. Chairman, again, I'll move that we approve this request as presented. Do we have a motion to approve the request as presented? Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. Any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, I'll call the vote. All in favor, signify by aye. 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 Any opposed, like, sign. Hearing none, the motion carries. 